SLA podcast where we get our student stallion leaders to give us their take on what digital citizenship is to them and anything that they've experienced throughout their life in regards to digital citizenship. Welcome stallion leaders. Why don't you introduce yourselves and tell us what grade you're in. Hi, my name is Sophia Garcia and I'm in the sixth grade. Hi, my name is Andre Torres and I'm in seventh grade. Hi, my name is Osmar Lupel and I'm in the eighth grade. Hi, my name is Christine Hernandez and I'm in the eighth grade. Well, welcome. Welcome to our first SLA official podcast. And in honor of Digital Citizenship Week, we are going to talk about um, cyberbullying and what that means to you. So let's start off with um, just a simple explanation of what you think is harassment. How I think, what I think about harassment and what I think it is, uh, I think it's when someone's making fun of you or bullying you and you tell them to stop, but they just keep on going. Um, I agree, and I wanted to say that, like, harassment in my, my way of saying it is, like, when someone is doing something that you don't like, and you can, like Andre said, and you tell them to stop, they just continuously don't listen to what you have to say. Um, I, yeah, like, I definitely agree with Christine. I feel like harassment not only can it be like something like physical where like people can like cross your boundaries but i do definitely feel like it's something emotional too like if someone were to just cross your boundaries like emotionally and you know eternally i feel like you just get like you feel so disgusted at some point and it's just really bad (laughs) so with harassment, sometimes we experience um, cyberbullying. So can you kind of define what you think cyberbullying is? Because harassment can happen when you're physically in person, correct? Well, what is cyberbullying to you? Cyberbullying, uh, when I think of it as you're on online and the person who is bullying you, they just text you or talk to you and they just make fun of you in any way and they do it online because they're anonymous like you can't you don't know who they are so they feel more better without you seeing them in person i agree with him because um i think cyberbullying is somebody who has the like same issues as you but they don't want they want to like let all their emotions out by putting it on somebody else and i think that cyberbullying is like when someone is like so insecure or like so they feel so bad about themselves that they feel to need the need to go online and make fun of other people for their own problems yeah i feel like everything that they just said is so true i feel like insecurity plays a really big part in cyberbullying i feel like when someone is so insecure about themselves and they just don't like something about themselves they put it onto other people just to make them feel better it's kind of like venting in a way but it's a uh, negative venting because it can really hurt people all right so what um are there different rules if someone tells you something online rather than in real life and if there are different rules why do you think that is um, when you're online when they bully you they they tend to say more meaner things and they say this because you can't see them and you don't know who they are. And when you're in person, they know who you are and you can tell on the person and they would get more in trouble. But online, they don't know who you are. If you're like getting bullied online, it's easier for your, like if you're bullying somebody, it would be easier. But like when you're he- like person to person with them, it's harder because uh, you can see how they're feeling, how they're acting and it's like more difficult for them. Uh, like some different rules, I guess you can say, is that online, they don't really, like how they said, they don't know who you are. And like online, it's just like, uh, it's just like harder to know exactly who is saying the mean comments to you 
while in person you can like kind of focus on the person and focus on what's going on and it would be easier to tell people for help ask people for help it's like really true i feel like as i mentioned insecurities i feel like once in person though a person who cyber bullies in real life i feel like they're you know less prone to like say what they said to you online because i feel like online you can say so many things and different things and just you know be hidden through a screen but like in real life you can't just say all these rude and disgusting comments to someone in real life and hide under a screen because it's just like not possible so how can we prevent cyberbullying how you can prevent cyberbullying is if it's a person you don't know you can just block them or just just turn off your computer basically or anything you text in um, i agree with what he said and i think that um another big difference with cyberbullying is that like it's um it's easier to like get over the situation because you can sort of like he said like block them or like uh just get off of what you were on and uh while in person it's like uh it might be something that like happens really often and that you can't really stop another way you can prevent cyberbullying is like if if you get if you're being cyberbullying you could just always turn off the app or delete the app or whatever you're on just close out the tab or anything and if you feel like rejoining the thing or whatever it would be easier because you know like you already went away from that person they're not online or anything i totally agree i feel like yes the easiest and simplest way and the fastest way to just get rid of you know all these negative comments and all this cyberbullying action is just to simply delete it but i feel like also you can take a further step on if you're willing and you really see this like perspective of it like you can also really see what the person is going through maybe not not even like talking to them not even connecting to them but really just like see what their actions have taken them to cyber bully you and i feel like once you do that you'll be like okay i understand their perspective it does not um justify what they did and what they're doing but you can see the perspective and if it ever happens again you see you know what to do you you know i've identified and acknowledged um the perspective of what they're going through and talk to them maybe be like resonate with what they're doing and you know, maybe they'll eventually like i don't know just stop I love all of your comments. Any final thoughts on cyberbullying and ways that we can prevent it or just any final thoughts to wrap up? I guess to wrap up, I feel like taking in consideration what we just said, um, cyberbullying and all is a very complicated and it's, it's a profound type of situation and circumstance that isn't talked about enough. I feel like it's just skipped over and you know, I think we have to take in consideration that also cyberbullying has been, you know, resulted in many, like, terrible situations that I think people need to take more in consideration of because um, cyberbullying can eventually take lives. We have to really take in consideration not only the person who is hurting, but the person who is doing the cyberbullying and, you know, what they're going through. And in America, it's a very common thing for teenagers and you know all but it you know mostly happens in like schools and you know teenagers because it's like you know growing and stuff but it's a very profound situation and circumstance i agree i agree with osmar uh, it can lead to many dangerous things and how you can prevent this is you can tell an adult or your parent because if you tell them if you tell them about this they they can help you with your emotional state or even get the person who is cyberbullying, they can stop him and stop him from stop the the bully from doing anything else to anybody. So I want to say thank you for being our first um, guests on our SLA podcast and um, hearing from 
the youth such as yourself it's really insightful to hear um, what you may go through or what you understand cyberbullying to be and um, I just want you all to know that I'm super proud of you and I want to thank you for being here today thank you for listening and if you have any ideas for future podcasts or would like to participate in our SLA podcast please stop by Miss Lugo's office and I'll put you on the list (laughs) Ha 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 ha!